Hey guys, this is Mac Kids Norm with Mac Programming Lesson 5. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to use a speech synthesizer, which is the way that you make a computer say stuff through the actual speakers using a physical human voice. So, the class for this is just NS Speech Synthesizer, and it's pretty easy to use. So I'll show you how to do this by creating a new project in Xcode and making a simple app that uses it. So I'll create a new project, I'll make it a Cocoa application, and I'll call it Say. Now under Classes, I'll create a new class, Cocoa, Objective-C class, and I'll call it App Controller. So in App Controller, this is where we're going to be typing all our code. So first of all, in App Controller, we're going to declare a new NS Speech Synthesizer. So I'll declare it right here, and I'll call it SS for Speech Synthesizer. Now up here I'm going to have two IB outlets, one for an NS text field, and I'll just call it text field one, and I'll have one for an NS button, and I'll call it button one. So that's easy. Now I'll add one IB action called start speaking, and I'll do an ID sender here. So I'll just copy this, paste it into the implementation, and I'll get right started typing the code. But before we do that, you have to understand one thing. A speech synthesizer is like an NS string in the way that it has to be allocated and initialized in order to actually work. And what better time to do that than when the application first opens? The thing is that Awake from Nib, which we learned in the last lesson, really isn't the best way to initialize things and start up your application. When you're doing things like setting properties on user interface controls, a week from nib is perfect. But when you're doing more more things like allocating stuff and setting the delegate of stuff and stuff like that, you really want to use another way of running code when the application initializes. And this is id init. So id init has to return an id of course or return self. And you have to run super init at the beginning to initialize and run the original code. So you can kind of ignore that for now. Right in this id init, between the super init and return self, all we're going to do is ss equals ns speech synthesizing alloc init with voice nil. And of course, that nil is not a string. So the way it works is if you pass it nil as the voice then it just makes the voice be the default computer voice that you can set through system preferences. Now I'm going to call speech synthesizer or SS in this case set delegate self. And the reason we're doing this basically a delegate means that now SS knows who to tell when something happens. In that case it's self or this current class. And the way it tells when something happens, it'll run functions on its delegate. So for instance, now if I add a little function right at the bottom of here, this code right here, believe it or not, will run when the speech synthesizer is done because this is a magic method that's declared in the delegate of any speech synthesizer. So it'll call stuff on the delegate. So I'm setting the delegate to self. That means I know when it's done and I know all this cool stuff. So just keep that in mind. We do need this code right here, and we're going to put stuff in here when it's done speaking. So now under this IB action, we're going to say button one, set enabled, no. And we're going to start speaking. So we're going to say ss start speaking string, another left bracket, text field one, string value. In this way, we're going to start speaking the text of text field one. And text field one is where they're going to type some text. And button one in this case is going to be the speak button that we're going to disable while it's talking so that way you can't say two things at once. And then when it's done talking, we're going to re-enable the button by doing button one, set enabled, yes. And by the way, if you don't really want to type this in right from the video, I will have a link in the description to download the Xcode project for this so that way you can use it instead. So anyway, here we go. 
now all we need to do is the interface. So I'll go into Interface Builder by double clicking on the main menu.xiv and I will drag on two necessary things a button and a text field. So the text field is going to go here and the button here. Now I'll resize this window. So now I'm going to grab a little blue NS object and drag it to my document you can get by going to Window Document. And on this object I'm going to set the class to be App Controller. And now I'm going to click Control from App Controller to this first text field and link it up. Same thing with the button. Back again. And just to ensure that everything's working, we're going to call an NS log here. And we're going to log text field one string value. So that way we know what we're speaking. So now if I build and go, go into the console, we'll see the application appear. I'll type foo. Foo. And my computer just said foo in a very, I guess it doesn't really know how to pronounce it. Foo. And there we go. So as you can see, the button disables. Foo and it comes up in the console so we can get rid of this um, NS log right here but it's great it works and um, I'll have the source code downloadable in the description so thanks for watching Mac Heads in one um, you can try making this application you can um, mess around with the code a little bit you have full permissions to do whatever you want with this code um, so anyway thanks for watching Mac Heads in one Post any comments or questions you have in the description of the video. Subscribe and goodbye.